Jamila Jamil and Victoria's Secret model Sarah Sampaio are fighting on Twitter and their complex conversation is actually super important and deserves to be discussed. What's up guys? Welcome back to Clever News. I'm your host Susan Morad and aside from being my favorite character on The Good Place, Jamila Jamil also runs an Instagram account called iWay. On this account and her personal account, she has been outspoken about the problematic parts of celebrity and influencer culture, especially when it comes to unrealistic beauty standards. In specific, Jamila and the Kardashians have had a long-standing difference in views on body positivity. She's come after them for promoting questionable appetite suppressants, meal replacements and flat tummy teas on social media. The money is built on the blood and tears of young women who believe in them, who follow them, who look up to them like the big sister they never had. It's just... It's so upsetting, it feels like such a betrayal against women. And over the past couple of years, the beef has persisted. The Kardashians post controversially and Jamila responds firmly. Like this post, for example, where Kim posted an appetite suppressing lollipop and Jamila tweeted saying, quote, no off. No, you terrible and toxic influence on young girls. I admire their mother's branding capabilities. She's an exploitative but innovative genius. However, this family makes me feel actual despair over what women are reduced to. She followed up with another tweet that said, quote, maybe don't take appetite suppressors and eat enough to fuel your brain and work hard and be successful and to play with your kids and to have fun with your friends and to have something to say about your life at the end other than I had a flat stomach. In a New York Times article, Kim De defended her family's endorsements. She said, quote, if there is work that is really easy that doesn't take away from our kids, that's like a huge priority. If someone was faced with the same job opportunities, I think they would maybe consider. You're going to get backlash for almost everything. So as long as you like it or believe in it or it's worth it financially, whatever your decision may be, as long as you're okay with that. So it's very clear they don't see eye to eye on some of these issues. So to say it's been controversial would be an understatement. But while Jamila started her body positivity crusade by addressing the behavior of the Kardashians, she's hardly stop there. Just yesterday, Jamila got into a Twitter tiff with model Sarah Sampaio over a body positivity comment. Jamila tweeted celebrating this amazingly fun looking runway. She said, quote, Oh my god, this looks like so much fun and not a long starved terrified teenager in sight. Beautiful. And Sarah had an issue with Jamila's comment about, quote, long starved terrified teenagers. Sarah clapped back on Twitter and said, quote, How about celebrating someone without bringing other people down? Calling runway models long-starved, terrified teenager is extremely offensive. From someone that is always preaching for body positivity, this just screams hypocrisy. Jamila then responded with a fair point and said, quote, I didn't say all models in my tweet, so try to calm down. But I will say there is a vast majority issue with young girls starving themselves and using drugs and cocaine to control their weight to meet the very small sample sizes. If you don't see that, then you're in a bubble. She continued on and said, quote, I also don't preach body positivity. I talk about moving away from all talk of body in order to combat our current pervasive issue of eating disorder culture, which is in no small way perpetuated by the extreme thinness demanded of girls by the high fashion powers that be. But Sarah didn't back down. She said, quote, you didn't say all models, sure, but you still chose to attack girls just so you can celebrate others. Eating disorders, drugs and cocaine use aren't an exclusive problem of models. It's a huge problem in society as a whole. And when you talk like you know for sure majority of have eating disorders and drug problems, when that's not the case. And about modeling, I can for sure talk with more certainty than you. Sure, that happens, but it's for sure not a vast majority. The point of my tweet, though, wasn't that one, and you know. But the heated Twitter conversation didn't end there. Jamila said, quote, Sarah, respectfully, I don't think this is the hill to die on. This industry is unlike other industries in that it makes professionals out of children and informs culture and society and is a standard set for young people everywhere. Fashion is a dangerous industry for too many. Jamila also pointed out that she too was a model. She said, quote, um, I was a model and a model agent and a lot of my friends are still models and agents who are all struggling with ongoing unrealistic standards of this industry you benefit from, which is why you are fiercely defending it and asking me to not call out its devastating wrongs. The exchange went on for a while longer and there were honestly way too many tweets to include in this one video, but at the end of the day, Jamila told Sarah to quote, 
find a better cause to fight for because this ain't it. You can do more than this, you're smart, help girls, don't normalize this. And I will say, as far as Twitter feuds go, this actually ended up being an interesting conversation with a lot of important points made on both sides of the argument. And obviously fans got very involved in the conversation too. Many fans agreed with Jamila on this one. One person said, quote, Jamila, I just want you to know, had I seen things like what you talk about 20 years ago, I very likely would have been able to save myself from a long period of body shaming misery. I hope you know how much your words mean to struggling people, young and old, thank you. And another said, quote, when young women see these unattainable skinny bodies and models, we get so down on ourselves and it leads to so many issues. I think pointing out that one doesn't have to be that to be beautiful is important. But I don't know why she couldn't see that and got so defensive. While others defended some of Sarah's points. One fan wrote, quote, I agree. It's ignorant to say most models starve themselves because it's obvious. You don't know them, you don't know their build, their story. I've always been a skinny guy and people said I must have a disorder or tapeworm growing up. Not everyone is chubby, so just accept all. And another said, quote, thank you. It is true that some starve and some don't. The way that person wrote the tweet, it sounds like, oh my God, skinny runway models are ugly. This is prettier. I know girls with that type of body naturally and this tweet could make them feel bad. Obviously, there are two sides to this story and both are important. But right now, I want to know what you guys think of all of this. Do you agree with Jamila that the modeling industry promotes unhealthy body image? Or do you agree with Sarah that Jamila was putting down all models with her tweet? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. After that, while you're leaving comments, be sure to hit our subscribe button right there and also hit the bell to be notified the second we post a new Clever News update. After that, catch up on all the entertainment tea you missed right over here. I'm Susan Morad. Thanks so much for hanging out with me on Clever News and I will catch you later. Bye guys.